Raise your hands if anyone of you did something very courageous. None of you? Well, I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you did something very courageous in a very stupidity way? Uh, I'm going to share about my incidents. It all happened long ago, way back more than 10 years ago when I was in the fall. I was a very vibrant, young, very playful, naughty young kid. One day, I was about swimming in the children's pool. And some of you may know that in the children's swimming pool, that is the most fun part, which is the the water slide. For those of you who is more excited to slide a very long distance down. Now let me give you another challenge. Who here loves to climb the other way, the inverted way, from the downside <laughs> to the upper slide? For me, what I said earlier, the courageous, naughty young boy loved to do all this daring stuntman style. While I was climbing up towards the slides, suddenly I saw a figure appear over here. The person appeared with big hands, big legs, and of course his big stomach also. He slided down and grabbed my foot and my chin slammed on the, on the slide over there. I was slide down into a swimming pool style. I was feel this gasping of pain inside my chin. Mm. When I lifted my hands over here, I saw some red figure, which is the blood. At first I felt that as a young guy, well, Getting injured, bleeding is very common. When I reveal my wound to my elder brother, he gave me this expression. Oh my god, your wound has just spread out very big. You must immediately see your mother, my our mother first. So my mother, so when we approached my mother, my mother saw the wound over my chin over here. Then she said, Oh my god, even a normal clinic doctor won't do this. You must apply you must go through stitches. Wow, that really strikes me. The moment she says stitches, inside my head, I was thinking, there's a very tall building which is on fire. People running around, heads on fire, running around screaming over here. I have this trauma, this terror, this fear inside me, created the called the phobia inside me. I was so scared because in my life, I never go through stitches before. The pain, the fear, the trauma, the scream, all resonate inside me. So immediately I rushed to the hospital over there. When I rushed to the hospital, I thought the doctors were very serious, they were very, very professional, look at you in very serious kind. But it turned out that the doctor appeared very friendly. He said, hi, can I, can I help you over here? Not only the environment of the clinic was very friendly, they even played a Taylor Swift song over there to lighten up the spirit. So I felt like, hmm, I'm not as a bad wounded patient over here. So why I'm so afraid over here? So when the doctor examined my chin over here, the wounded part, and he said one thing, son, if the stitches go wrong or the operation goes wrong, you might not have a very proper chin over here. <laughs> so once again, heads on fire, building on fire, I was fight for this trauma. Then the doctors even replied, son, the most important thing for any patients that I treated them, the most important value is they must have a positive energy inside them. So why not you yourself have the hope, have the, have the joyful when you're going through this treatment? Because I, the doctors say one very important lesson, it go through so many hard moments in this hospital time. Seeing a lot of patients pass away gradually, but however, he must remain the positive energy over here. The sense of being, sense of gratitude of serving the patient over here and extend their life as life span over there. So I realized that to me, getting injured or being, getting sick or being ill isn't really a real negative style. It's a real negative thing. As long as we have the positive energy inside us that can overcome all the obstacles the fear inside us, that is how we overcome our fear. So in the end, after the stitches operation had ended, I become a young version of a Chinese Santa Claus. <laughs> you know why? Because they put the bandage in white below my chin. So every day I go to school, 
some of you may know that imagine your children you'll be quite curious right hey mr santa claus then i need to explain the whole story how foolish am i so in the end i was bare with this nickname the chinese santa claus over here walking around here greeting with children greeting with students greeting with my friends greeting with my teachers who is also very curious to see me so i must bear with all this shame humiliation over here but i recall what the doctor said earlier as long as we have all the positive energy around us no matter what the circumstances what the surrounding they really scold us what the circumstances really embarrass us as long as we have the energy inside us that is how we overcome the phobia inside us to have confidence in you in the end once my bandage was removed this permanent scar is always below my chin i always recall that the doctor's famous advice positive energy over the years as a much more energetic sportsman guy i go through a lot of injuries a lot of times i was need i was needed to send to the hospital to receive a lot of treat a lot of treatment but however that doctor that day when the i received my first teacher's operation he gave me this very good advice to be positive is to overcome your phobia so ladies and gentlemen i believe all of you here have your own phobia perhaps you're not as naughty as me you're not as childish as me but as long as you have the confidence in yourself no matter what the fear over here you have two choice f e a r forget everything and run or face everything and rise to conquer the phobia in you So ladies ladies and gentlemen are you ready to conquer your fear within you back to you